welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking all about doll scale, what it means, how to calculate it, what to do about it. So let's talk about scale, baby. Let's talk about dolls and things. And let's start on this end. This doll is a 1 12th doll. The two beside her are both 1 8th dolls. And so while they're all very different, while these, or excuse me, while these two are very different, they are the same scale. The next three dolls are all one sixth scale. And so I brought the variety out to show you how they look different, but they can still be the same scale. The next two dolls are both one quarter scale. So again, two very different dolls, but, very diff but the same scale. And then the two on the end are both one third scale. So different dolls, same scale. So what I'm going to do now, because this was a miracle that I was able to stand them all up here for you guys without any major accidents, is I'm going to put them all down and then we're going to talk about each scale individually and what it means and how it can help you when you're looking for accessories and things. The first scale we're going to talk about is the 1 12th scale. So in this section, I'm going to go over 1 12th with you. I'm going to explain scale and we're going to talk about how tall this little girl would be if she were a real life little girl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure her first and I am going to do inches and centimeters because I know that folks that watch my channel, some use inches and some use centimeters. So if you're looking here, she's about four and a half inches tall or about 12 centimeters tall. So that is her height in both units. So now let's figure out if she were a real little girl, how tall would she be? So I'm gonna give you guys a math lesson. And if you didn't know this about me, I used to be a math teacher, so this is gonna be exciting for me. All right, a 1 12th scale, here's what that means. It means that for every one, let's say inch or centimeter, so we're just gonna call it unit, for every one unit on the model or on the doll equals 12 units in real life. So that's how the scale works. If we're going to talk about inches, she was four and a half inches tall, which means in real life, every one of those inches is actually 12 inches. So it's actually a foot for every 12 inches. So if I times that by 12 inches, I get five times two is 10, four times two is eight plus one is nine, five times one is five, one times four is four. And we add it together and we get 54 inches. Now, if you wanna convert that to feet, you wanna divide it by 12. So 54 divided by 12 is gonna be 48, or excuse me, it's going to be four times, because you think about four times 12 is 48, so it'll be four feet, and then left over is going to be six inches. So this doll in real life, if she were a real life little girl, she would be four feet, six inches tall, which makes sense to me because I relate everything back to myself which is easy for us to do because you know that's your size and so that's how you see the world. I'm five feet tall, which is 60 inches tall and little kids, you know, they're kind of tall to me because I'm not all that tall. So let's also do the centimeters one. So she's 12 centimeters tall times 12 because the 12 units, that's 144 centimeters or 1.44 meters in real life. So that gives you a good idea of if she were a real girl, how tall would she be? Well, she would be, you know, four foot, six inches, or 1.44 meters. So now let's talk about the one eighth size dolls. Next up is the one eighth doll, and I'm using a Meadow Twinkle doll for this demonstration, but most tiny BJDs are somewhere close to this. So if you look at her in inches, she's about six inches tall. If you're of the centimeter crew, she would be about 15 centimeters tall. And that's not exact, I'm just using nice round whole numbers for this exercise. So let's see how tall she would be in real life if she were a real little girl. Now this scale again is 1 8th. So in inches, I said she's six inches tall. So we're gonna times six inches by eight and six times eight 
is 48 inches. Which, if we're going, if we're going to make that into feet, that's going to be exactly four feet tall. So in real life, this little girl would be exactly four feet tall. So she would be a little bit shorter than the OV11 doll based on her scale. Now in centimeters, we have her at 15 centimeters, so we'll do the same thing. 15 centimeters times eight. Eight times five is 40. Eight times one is eight, plus four is 12. So she would be 120 centimeters or 1.2 meters in real life. So a little bit shorter than the OB11 doll if they were real life girls, which kind of gives you an idea. Again, like if you want to choose an age for your doll and you think about the height, I think this is a really useful kind of thing you can do in your head to figure out, well, how big would this girl be in real life? And then you can kind of decide on the age from there. All right, now let's move on to one sixth dolls. And one sixth dolls is where you start to see a big shift in ages and size ranges. Here we are at one sixth. And you can see I have three different one sixth dolls out for us to have a look at because they are so different. I want to start with Barbie here on the left because Barbie is so well known for her proportions being so out of whack. Now we are just talking about height today, so I'm not going to talk about her other proportions, but we're going to look at it. Now she is well known for being 11 and a half inches tall, and in centimeters that is roughly 29 centimeters tall. So let's take a look and see how tall she would be in real life. So 11 and a half inches. Oops. And this is one sixth scale again, so we're going to do 11 and a half inches times six because for every inch there are six inches for Barbie. So six times five is 30, six times one is six plus three is nine, six times one is six. So she would be 69 inches tall, 60 inches is five feet, so that would be five feet and there will be nine inches left over nine inches tall so if you're just talking about the one sixth and the eleven and a half inches Barbie is going to be five feet nine inches tall which is normal I think you can probably see some other things about Barbie where they say based on her proportions she'd be seven feet tall and all this but if you're strictly looking at height and this, this is what you come up with. If we do the centimeters, she was 29 centimeters tall. We're going to times that by 6. 9 times 6 is 54. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. So she would be 174 centimeters tall or 1.74 meters. So she's definitely an adult. She's got the adult height to her. And so that's her, that's what she kind of comes out to as a one sixth doll. So let's put Barbie to the side and let's talk about Blythe because Blythe is hilarious. Blythe is a very stylistically different doll. And I want to talk about both her height and her head just for funsies here because this is a fun math thing. So let's look at her height first. Height, she's right about 11 inches tall or that's what, 28 centimeters? Yeah, she's right at 11 inches tall, 28 centimeters. So let's do the math on her. And I've got my eraser right here. So 11 inches, and remember we're still in 1 sixth, so we're using six. So that would make her 66 inches tall, or five feet, six inches. So she'd be five and a half feet tall. Uh, centimeters was 28 centimeters times six. Eight times six is 48. Six times two is 12. 12 plus four is 16. She'd be 1.68 meters tall. But here's the fun thing about Blythe. Let's talk about her head because if she's supposed to be one sixth, her head all the way around is right at 11 and a half inches or 29 centimeters. So her head is actually bigger around, the circumference of her head is bigger than her height. 
So if Blythe were a real person, she would be five feet six inches tall and her head would be about five feet, what was it, nine inches around. So if you can imagine that, that's Blythe for you. But that's what's great about dolls, right? We can have these sort of fantastic proportions and these stylistic things and they're so much fun. So I just thought that would be fun to have a look at her. So Blythe in real life, if she were a real person, her head would be that big around, bigger around than I am tall. Now, of course, her head is bigger around than she is tall, but when you think about it as a real person, it's really funny, in my opinion. So now let's look at Little Fee, and this is the new Little Fee I recently got. Let's see if she'll stay standing. Let's measure her. So she is, I'm looking at her from the back, she's about 10 inches tall, or let's say 26 centimeters. So 10 inches or 26 centimeters. So I'm gonna write those two down. And we're still in one sixth here. So we have not moved up scale. All three of these dolls are considered one sixth. So I said 10 inches and what were the centimeters? Let's see again, I forgot already. 25, no 26, so 26 centimeters. So we times this by six, that's right at 60 inches or five feet tall. So I am the same size as a little fee. So maybe I should be a little fee for Halloween or at the next doll convention I go to, I'll dress up as little fee because she in real life would be five feet tall. Uh, in centimeters, we'll do the same thing. Six times six is 36, six times two is 12, 13, 14, 15. She would be about a meter and a half tall. So she would be pretty much my size, which is kind of cool, right? So maybe, maybe me and Little Fee can, um, we can, we can go to a costume ball or something together. So that's pretty cool. But that just shows you um, the differences between the, the, the dolls themselves, even of the same scale, because this doll is supposed to be younger than Barbie, and I took a picture with my niece tonight because my niece is nine years old and she's almost as tall as me, so it makes sense that a child of this age would be five feet tall. So I just think it's interesting to look at that. Now let's move on to the, our more adult dolls, which are our quarter size dolls. All right, here we are at our one quarter dolls, and one quarter dolls vary greatly across doll makers and doll types. Of course, I'm just talking about BJDs today, but the same is true for vinyl dolls. So I'm going to start with Chloe. This is Mini Fee Chloe, and she is about right under 16 inches, but we're going to say 16 inches, and she's about 40 centimeters tall. So I'm going to write that down before I forget it. We've got 16 inches tall or 40 centimeters. Now again, this scale is one quarter, so it's one over four. So for every inch on Chloe in real life, that would be four inches. So I'm gonna multiply this by four. Six times four is 24, four, five, six. So she would be 64 inches in real life or five feet, four inches tall. So Chloe's kind of short too, but she's still taller than me. In centimeters, she's going to be 160 centimeters tall or 1.6 meters tall. So that gives you an idea about her height. Now Katara, this is a this is a what's called a chunky MSD resin doll from Kim Arnold. And she is a little bit taller and she's also a little bit thicker. So, you know, we're not talking about proportions so much today. We're really just talking about I'm really just talking about height because we could get into a whole math lesson on proportions, but that would be a two hour long video and I just don't think anybody would really be interested in that. So let's look at her height and Katara is about, she's right at 20 inches tall or 50 centimeters. So there she is, 20 inches, 50 centimeters. So let's see how tall she would be in real life. I say 20 inches and 50 centimeters. I hope that's what I said because that's what I remember. So we'll, we'll roll with it. So she's one quarter size. She's a one fourth. We times this by four. Four times two is eight. 
So she would be 80 inches tall. So let me think about that. If I divide that by 12, let's see, 72 is six feet, and then left over would be eight inches. So she'd be six feet, eight inches tall. And that's where you get into this really stylistic sort of, you know, art and, you know, how the artist portrays the doll. And of course, everything's not gonna fit into a neat little bucket. Um, for sizing. She really might even be closer to a one-third size if, at this, but to me she's more quarter size because she's she's just a little bit under that um, SD or one-third size. And we'll talk about that too at the end. If we're doing centimeters, she is going to be 200 centimeters tall or two meters tall. So she's quite a tall lady, this guitar is. And so it just shows you the difference between these two, even though they're both one quarter, it is definitely um, a big difference between them. So there you have that. So last, let's move on to the one third size dolls, because those are the biggest dolls I have. I, there's probably some half size dolls out there. I know the Smart Doll, um, they have the big ones. I can't remember what they're called, but they're pretty, they might be about half size or so. But let's move on, like I said, to the one-third size and we'll talk about those next. All right, next up are the one-third. So I have Ondine, this is from La Belle Du Jour, and we're gonna measure her first. So you can see she's significantly shorter than my Smart Doll Summer, so I expect to see a big difference between these two. All right, in height, she's right at 21 inches tall or about 54 centimeters. So if we've got 21 inches, and we've got 54 centimeters here. Now this is a one-third scale doll, so this is one over three, so that means we're gonna times these by three. So if I times by three here, I've got 63 inches, so that makes her five feet, three inches tall. She's a lady almost of my own size. How do you like that? She's got three inches on me, though. If we do her in centimeters, that is 16, 162 centimeters or 1.62 meters tall. So that's on Dean for you. Now let's look at Smart Doll Summer. Smart Doll Summer is, let's see, in inches she's right about, it looks like 24, she's like 23 and a half. I'll give her 24 so the math will be easier. And then, whoops. It looked like 60 centimeters tall. Let's lay her down and measure her because she's willing to tip over. So if I measure her out, she is, yeah, it's right about, 50, well, 59 centimeters. So let's say 23 inches, 59 centimeters for Smart Doll Summer. So we've got 23, 59. We're gonna multiply those. So that's nine, six, so she's 69, she would be 69 inches tall in real life, which is five foot nine inches. Same as Barbie, how do you like that? And then in centimeters, 59 times three, that's 27, 15, 16, 17, 177 centimeters or 1.77 meters. So that gives you an idea in real life of what they are. Let's talk about the measurements that are pretty standard for these things. So one third is generally called SD, and that stands for Super Doll Feet. That's where that originally came from, um, which were the Volks dolls, which were some of the first ones out on the market. One quarter stands for MSD, which is Mini Super Doll Feet which is also because Volks was some of the first uh, dolls on the market and this was just kind of uh, adopted from them. One sixth is Yo SD and I think that's for young Super Dolphy, but I can't remember that for sure. I'm sure if that's wrong, somebody please correct me in the comments. But I'm thinking that's like young or youth Super Dolphy. One eighth is generally people just call them tiny. 1 8 and smaller. So 1 8, 1 12 are usually called tiny. I've seen the 1 12 and smaller called micro from time to time, but I haven't seen that a lot. So those are the different sizes and that's what they mean. Now, what if you have a doll 
that you're not really sure what the scale is, but you want to know. So why would you ever want to know the scale of a doll, but you, you don't know it? It could be that you're trying to buy an accessory online. So let's say you've got a great accessory you want to buy online, but you want it to look right with your doll. So I've got an example here. This is a little darling, and little darlings aren't really, they don't really fit into one particular scale very well. They're somewhere between a USD and an MSD. Well, here's what you can do to figure out what scale you think they should be. So choose kind of the two areas that you think they're between. So I think she's somewhere between a 1 6th and a 1 4th. And then let's measure her. So I'm going to measure her, and she is right at 13 inches tall or 33 centimeters. So I'm going to write that down. I've got 13 inches. And we've got 33 centimeters. So because I think she's somewhere between a 1 6th and a 1 4th, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try both and I'm going to see which one makes more sense for her height. Now I look at my little darlings as around anywhere from 10 to 12 years old. Some people look at theirs as a little bit younger, but a lot of this is going to be up to what you see too. So if we do her as a 1 6th, 13 times 6, let's see, 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 1 is 6, 7. So that would make her 78 inches tall. What do you think about that? So that would be, let's see, that would be 5 feet 60 inches, 72 inches of 6 feet. So that would make her 6 feet and 6 inches tall. I don't think that's right. I do not think she would be a 1 6 at all. And just to show you folks in centimeters, Let's see, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 3 is 18, 19. That's almost a 2 meter tall girl of 10 or 11. I'm not saying they don't exist, because I know that they do, but probably 6 is not the right scale for her. So now I'm going to try 4th. So let's see what she looks like in 4th. So I've got 13 times 4, so that's 12. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So that makes her 52 inches tall, which that is under um, 60 inches. So she's going to be 4 feet and 4 inches tall. That's more like it. That's probably on the short side for a girl of her age. But if I were going to be choosing a an item for her, I would probably go with the 1 fourth scale if I'm looking for an accessory. And just to show you in centimeters really quickly, 33 times 4 is 12, that's 12, 13, that's 1.32 meters. Either one would work because I've used USD size accessories with these dolls before, but one quarter size will work too. So you can just kind of decide by looking at things, well, what seems more realistic to you and how, how realistic do you want your scale to be? And that's how you can determine for yourself sort of what scale your doll fits into. Now there's other fractions, of course, in between this, but they're not common. So commonly used thing in model making and so on are the ones that I just showed you guys. So hopefully this video was helpful and not too boring. I know I just went on a complete math like adventure with you guys, but I love math. I used to be a math teacher. It's a big passion of mine. Sometimes I miss it really badly and want to teach it. So hopefully this gave me the well this gave me the opportunity to teach a little math and hopefully it helped you guys and you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about it, please leave them for me in a comment below and I will be happy to try to answer them as best as I can. Thank you always as watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving me a thumbs up below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.